In the last lecture, we left off uh, setting up our product page. So if we were to go here from the shop page and click on any of these view product buttons, such as this pasta carbonara, we end up over here at the product page. All right, but currently it's empty. So we're going to start displaying the image and all of it that all of the details for that specific product. All right, so that's uh, what we have here on the notes. All right, so we're going to go to the product component and right below the button, the go back button, I'm going to set up a condition here and I'm going to check to see if product, if we have anything there, and remember that we're extracting it here uh, from the Redux, there, uh, Redux store using use selector. So if product, then we want to start displaying. And right here, what I want to do is I want to display a row. And within this row, I'm going to have two div tags. This one's going to be a column MD of uh, six. And this one I'll have for my image. I'm just going to put a note here uh, for image. And then the second one. Class name, column, MD, and this will be five. And this will be all the details. Details. All right, so here in the image tag, let's go ahead and um, add our image. So I'm gonna, as a matter of fact, what I'm gonna do here is get my card component. And I'm just gonna copy this image tag that I have within the card component, because it's gonna be the same. And go back to my product. And where do I want to paste it? Yeah, I want to paste it right here. All right, there we go. And I'm going to save that, and there you go. Look at that. All right, so now we have our image. If we go back, um, I'll click on a different image, say pepperoni pizza, view product, and we got pepperoni pizza. Good, so it's working. All right, let me add some room between the, the go back button and that image. So here, I'm going to add margin bottom of, let me do four. Go back and check it out. All right, that's better. That gives, that's more room. Good. All right, let's see. Um, I think another, let me see here. Let me collapse this thing. Yeah, all right, that's good. All right, so now, uh, okay, all right, so we're still working on the product details. All right, so now that I have my image there, um, that takes care of our um, the left side column. We just want to have just the image, that's it. And on the right side, which has a column of five, that's where we want to actually, that's where we want to place all of our uh, details. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an H3 tag. And I'm going to call product and product name. Save that and see what we got here. All right, so we got pepperoni pizza, that's good. All right, what else? Uh, let me add a class name here and do margin bottom of, let me do four. All right, so now let me add some P tags. Let me do three. All right, so this one right here is going to be for, let's see, let's do for price. And I'm gonna display the product price. 
let's see what we get here let me add, also add a dollar sign because it is dealing with the price all right there you go um another thing i want to do is add some some add a class name and let me do text muted let me do border border top and padding for top and bottom of two save all right there's that uh let's see. yeah that's that's good for, there you go uh, yeah all right so now that we have the price let's go ahead and do one as a matter of fact let me copy this paste below and this one I'm gonna call it status status is going to deal with the quantity um, so the status is gonna let us know what the or the stock inventory I should say if we're out of stock or or if we do have an item in stock um, and in the back end um, well we have we have this data available to us in the back end, so we can actually make use of this and determine whether we have the item in stock or not. All right, so the way we're gonna do this is, let's see. All right, so I'm gonna move this dollar sign from here and I'm gonna check if product quantity is less than or equal to zero, that means we're out of stock. So in this case, I'm gonna have the status to say out of stock. Otherwise, it's going to be in stock. All right. And for the class name, it's, it's all going to stay the same. All right. So now, uh, let's see. I'm going to remove this here. All right. So I'm going to save that. Go back. And we do have this in stock. All right. We do have peaks in stock. Um, and uh, But if it wasn't in stock, so let me just show you what it, uh, I'm just going to flip the logic and say if, if the product detail is greater than or equal to zero and then say and then it will be out of stock. I'm just flipping, flipping the sign just to see that that the message does change. All right. So you see it's out of stock. All right. But of course, it's this way. All right. So the next thing is let me copy this again and below paste. And this one will be for the description. product description yes like this so what we got here there you go uh, we have to remove that dollar sign save go back all right there you go that's nice all right so um, let's see how it looks if we minimize the page Okay, not too bad. All right, so now, um, so we have, yeah, so the final thing I wanna add here is a button. So I'm gonna do a button. This button I'm gonna give class name and actually let me add here, um, add to cart. And for the button, it's gonna be BT BTN and BTN, BTN dark. So dark color, I want it to be large size, and I want it to to expand across the whole um, the whole block. Or yeah, all right, yes, like this. Um, let's see, between large. Uh, what else? BT and large. Uh, I want it to be. Nah. Let me see something. Let me go back to the documentation for bootstrap buns. Bootstrap bun. All right. So I do want it dark. Uh, yes, the size BTN, BTN large. Good. And I said BTN block, and it is block. 
All right, yeah, all right, so that's good. That's good enough. Um, let me go ahead and um, uh, let's see here. Yeah, all right, so if we minimize this, there we go. Let's go ahead and also add some spacing here, though, on the bottom, some margins. So for the bottom, we'll do margin bottom of five. Save that. There you go. Um, let's see here. Uh, let me add, you know what? Let me add some padding for this. Let me try to do padding of two. No. No. All right, just move that. All right, let's see. All right, also, uh, let's give some room between the title and the, the image. So I'm going to, yeah, push down margin bottom for the image. So let's do that right over here. Do margin bottom. Um, let me do, let me try three. All right, that's better. There we go. Let me expand this. All right, now let's go try a different different item. Turkey burger, good. Uh, let's do penne pasta, go back. Lasagna, go back. All right. All right, and the filtering system is working, good. Pasta, good. All right, I think, yeah, oh, okay, so another thing, let's see here, let me see what I have, I haven't been marking this off. So we took care of add product details, add out of stock or in stock details. All right, so what I wanna do is, I did add here in the product page, the status that would determine based on the product quantity if we have something in stock or out of stock. But we also want to add this, um, let me see here. Also to the card, we have to add that to the card um, here. Um, if we go to the home page, you see that we're making use of the card. So I want to make use of that that status to just let um, to indicate whether something's in, um, in stock or out of stock. So let me do that here in the card component, right below the price, or that's this right here. I'm gonna add a P tag. And I'm gonna do if the product, product, quantity is less than or equal to zero, same thing as what we did earlier, then out of stock, stock, otherwise in stock, we have it in stock. And I want to do a class name of text muted, muted, save that, go back here, all right, there you go. So now it indicates if we have something in stock or out of stock. Right now everything um, is in stock. Um, that's because if we go to the database, we have quantities that are above zero. All right, so that takes care of that. Now the other thing we want to do is we want to be, if something, I mean, if something's out of stock, it would indicate it over here. But in addition to that, we also want, we don't want the ability for you to, to be able to click on add to cart because obviously it's out of stock. So we want to be able to disable um, this button here, not just here, but also if we go to the product details, if I click here, view product here, also we want to disable add to cart because again, we, wouldn't, we don't have it um, in stock, so it makes no sense to add it to cart. Um, so let's go ahead and take care of that button 
the the buttons um, so for first we're gonna start with the card component which would be over here um, and what we can for these buttons they have an attribute called disabled and what we're gonna do is copy that logic that we had over here no actually no my mis yeah actually I'll just copy this this portion here go back down and I'll say if if product product quantity is less than or equal to zero wait if product product quantity is less than or equal to zero then that would be true so if we're at a stock then this would end up being true and it would disable this button here um, so let me just make sure right now uh, was that that's for the card component so that would be dealing with like this right here so you see right now it's not it's not disabled because the logic is indicating that we do have something in stock but the moment I flip this change the logic save that the bun should be disabled and you see here how it's faded there you go so we wouldn't be as a user I wouldn't be able to click on that let me go to view product all right so we still have to disable the button for for the product page uh, but if I go to here you see also in the shop um, on the shop page because we're using the same card component it also disables it here all right but of course we that's not correct uh, the logic is supposed to be if product product quantity is less than or equal to zero then we want to disable it so we're going to save it like that and now it's back so we can actually click on it all right so next step is to um, go to the view product and disable this button here on the product page so we're going to go to the product component and um, essentially what I can do is just copy what we did here I'm just going to copy this whole thing here go to the product component and uh, I'll paste that in right uh, let's see add to card yeah that would be right over here if I go here all right it's it's working because it's saying that we do have something in stock but if I again just test this out if I flip the logic the sign and there you go so now the add to card button is just disabled here so the user wouldn't be able to click on it all right let's go ahead and bring that back save and now it's working all right so now we took care of everything I believe so yes we took out yes all right so we took care of that and we took care of this all right so we have everything working now um, so I guess yeah, so, so that's it for now, and I'll uh, see you in another lecture.